This video lesson is brought to you by Larry's Music and Sound, located in downtown Hickory, North Carolina. Hey, I'm Tony Altor, and I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. Uh, make sure you subscribe and check out our Facebook page. And for additional lessons and other videos, you can go to musicandsound.net. Uh, today we're going to talk about, um, we're going to take the blue scale and our major pentatonic scale, and we're going to combine them and create kind of a hybrid scale and uh, look at some different ways of, of using that over um, a chord, okay? All right, the first scale we're going to play is an A minor blues scale, and it goes like this. And then we're going to play an A major pentatonic in the same position, and it goes like this. Then we're going to combine those and make a, a so-called hybrid scale, and it will sound like this. Okay, so the, the purpose of this is um, I see so many times where uh, people get locked in the box of playing one scale or the other. <clears throat> Um, and this is kind of, uh, I came up with this, well it's really not an original idea, but um, it helps me get out of just playing in the box and looking at my fretboard in a little different way and um, approaching playing certain notes in a different way in different configurations um, where it doesn't sound so much like I'm playing a pentatonic scale or a minor blues scale or a major blues scale. Um, so that's the reason why I came up with this little hybrid thing and I could do more chromatic stuff. Um, and uh, maybe even a little bit more modal stuff. So uh, I'm going to play a couple little examples. Um, I could still uh, do my all my major minor um, blues licks if I want. Um, or I could do my major, um, you know, major pentatonic licks. But also. I could approach it where I could kind of do more chromatic runs, um, maybe give it like a more jazzier sound. Um. I could also do some um, other things where, and it kind of sounds maybe more of a, a modal Lydian kind of sound. Um, and I could also approach notes. Um, People don't think of using chords too much or playing more than one note at the same time, but you can come up with some cool jazzy sounds too by just stacking certain notes together and playing them. You know, if you want a dissonant sound, you know, uh, I kind of like that sound. So those are some examples that you could kind of do um, with these patterns um, and with this scale. Um, and also think too, think of, um, speaking of patterns, think, think of sequences uh, where you take something very similar and repeat it. So maybe... And you kind of get some cool kind of sounds like that. So I'm just going to set a loop over a, an A dominant 7 chord and just kind of use um, this hybrid scale and use some of those examples I showed you and see how they kind of fit um, how they mesh with that, that chord. Um, here we go. And uh, so that's it. Uh, the, the main thing is just to um, think outside the box and don't get trapped in that box of the, the pentatonic scales or the, the blue scales. So um, try doing that. I, I, I like having a little drone. I could kind of bounce uh, these ideas off and see how it's actually working. I use a little loop pedal if we have a, some kind of recording device. Um, 
But until next time, thanks again. Make sure you check us out on Facebook. Uh, make sure you sub subscribe. And um, for additional lessons and other videos, go to musicandsound.net. Okay, thanks. Thank you.